Now I would like to invite to the podium Bilal Sajid Sanna, who would be talking about uh, his paper titled Why Chai, the Storm of a Tea Cup, and his exploration of discourse around tea, chai, in South Asian post-colonial nation states. It's a weird topic, isn't it? Like, who thinks about tea? Right? Like, it's in your room, you drink it all the time, it's it's such a convenient, it's like it's there, right? Like, what do you really think about it? Um, so, I had the pleasure of going on a high school exchange program when I was 15, uh, two states. Um, and when I came back, I came back with this incredible spirit of nationalism. So like, you know, we got to make this thing work and, uh, you know, I don't know, Pakistan, Army, Zindabad, all of those notions were going in my head. But one resolute idea that was also present in my head, which, which you know, kind of Shahan touching upon Baloch nationalism was also Sindhi nationalism. And what does it mean to be Sindhi? Because when I was there, uh, so much of what I saw with them, I, I, I kind of remarked that this is what so coming back, I was listening to a lot of Sindhi songs, and I came across this song as a 16-year-old, uh, which is uh, sung by Seif Samejo on Hasan Darski poetry, which uh, has this inter interesting verse. So it says, "Ke umir ji angur ma dissu, bolen ma angur chhano tha pya, sadeo se great asasti cha, sadeo manu sade tho." You know, so so basically the verse kind of touches upon the fact, you know, life is like a wrinkling finger um, and you know, chhatta hua jase gulab ki kutiyaan hoti hain aur mera jo saajan hai, wo sasti chai aur sadi dhulta rehta aur isi tarikhe se uski zindagi mokam ho jati hai For a 16 year old, I was, I was like, so the thing that came into my mind was like, how is it that I can relate to this imagery as well, but where did this all come from? Like, where did the connection between chai and cigarette come from? And how does it, how does it apply to a Sindhi? Like, why, why does it get mentioned into this poetry? And why, why do I relate to it so much? So it started from here. If I was 16, I had no clue what's going on. And for the next four years, I still had no clue. Until I turned 20, and then this happened. But not in the casual Champions Trophy cricket way. No, no, no. We got a fighter jets involved. And, you know, things happened. We caught, we caught a guy. His name was Abhinandan. Weird mustaches. Kind of fine and cool. Um, and then, of course, to de escalate tension, because that's what we do, we said, okay, you know, chai or video banana. Right? And so the guy did. Um, and he said something really interesting, which is the tea, the tea is fantastic. And here came a barrage of memes, a ton of memes, right? Uh, I remember in 2019, uh, we had so many places popping up, changing their name as tea is fantastic and all of that. Uh, news channels based key coverage, patriotism, Pakistan army ka jo propaganda ka jo hota hai, wo bhi hai. DGISPR bhi khane bana raha hai uh, I hope I live to tell the story again. <laughs> uh, so this was happening, right? This was happening. And, and for me it was so weird because it's like, why, why, why is it that this phrase, which should be otherwise used for hospitality, becomes so interesting that is right? Like what is it about this phrase? All he's saying is tea is fantastic. So, what does he really mean? Um, but wait, there's more tea, pun intended, for all those who use this one. Um, this was not the only time tea was used as a, phrase to, as a phrase to say something and mean something else. There was, um, so the circulation of videos that appeared to show the Indian Parliament became virally blooming propaganda go on social media, so on and so forth. Um, it, showed, it, it shows hospitality, right? Um, it shows civility. But it also shows power. It also shows violence, right? Because that's the subtle B context with the tea is fantastic. Is that he's still a prisoner. It also shows the status quo. 
And, and guess what? A lot of events were kind of like that that were centered around tea. So Boston Tea Party, the famous tea party where they put black tar on a guy and put feathers on him, it was really violent, but it had something to do with tea. It started from tea, right? Thaos made Texas ka masla or Peson ka masla or Yehu sari jizen, but you know the centerpiece becomes tea. And it's very interesting why tea as a commodity becomes the centerpiece in America which is not even known for tea. And then we had um, another interesting phenomenon happening which is called the Milk Tea Alliance. So remember when the Hong Kong people ro rose up against the Chinese, I hope people have not forgotten about that. Um, they used posters like these and called onto their movement the Milk Tea Alliance to oppose the neo-imperialistic uh, powers of the Chinese who drank green tea and they differentiated themselves against the Chinese by saying that we drink milk tea, we drink milk tea, you drink green tea, you drink neo-imperialist. That's weird because the Chinese were the original drinkers of tea. So how does that work? That's an AI generated image but what I'm really trying to do is say that's Mulana Fazul Rama. Um, so an interesting, an interesting thing happened in 2021, right after the whole Abhinandan episode, we had a DTISPR called Istakar Ahmed. Mulana Sahib ne ye kaha tha ke ji PDM ja ke pindi bethegi aur hum phir ja ke baat karenge jin se baat karni hoti hai. To us pe when Dr. DG Istakar was asked this, he said ke matlab I don't see why he's coming to pindi lekin agar wo aayega to hum unko chai pani bulayenge. And then he went out like with a very small smirk, you know, in his disciplined army you know, you know, he just let out this little smirk. And everybody got on to that in the room. It was like a little quip, right? Like a little jab. And then, of course, Mulana Saab being Mulana Saab, right after that interview, said, Ke, Khud tum Papa John's ki pizza khao, aur me sir chai khao. And I was like, oh, there is something here, right? There is something here, there is something here, there is something to do with tea. All these events, tea becomes a central piece. It somehow communicates power, it somehow deliberates, deliberates to you what this current status quo is and yet it is just a simple commodity that I used to have and think about ye to hotel pe bhi jati or you know, uh, like the experience of tea I have is like sham hoti hai, all the farmers go to this little place in the village, this big TV with such light TV, but WWE dekhte hain and wo chai or cigarette bhi tarah so how does it go from that to this? Um, and why chai? So what makes tea as a linguistic symbol so open to such seemingly divergent symbolic appropriations, specifically within contextual specificity of post-colonial and state of Pakistan? So I have to ask you so much, because if I make a lot of claims, then I will make a mark and say that this is pseudoscience. So, but you can use this idea, right? You can use this idea, you can really stretch the boundaries of this idea of tea uh, to talk about like a lot of colonial states or at least subcontinental states aapke jitni bhi hai. Mr. Tea pops up and why is it that tea is here? So, in theory hua kya? Mein pagri nahi mein nahi, but again this is an AI generated image like I have to use these, but I went to research. So, my thing was, what was really important was historical landscape, right? Which is, we don't actually know the history of tea. You go and ask like anybody on the street, we're like, ah, I had dada or par dada bhi pita the. That's not true. Tea is actually only 150 years old in the subcontinental terrain. Like the Britishers grew it. You don't grow any tea in Pakistan. Most of Pakistani tea comes from Kenya, right? But we, but we never question this idea, right? Because it's such a, it's a commodity that we consume every day. Why do I need to question something that I have every day? Zahir se baat uski kaani hogi. Hogi hogi jiske paas hogi. And but there was no, no talk about the discourse around tea, right? Like, or the, uh, for instance, for me it was really interesting. All every day ads are saying, it's the husband, it's the wife, shaam hai or chai. That's the theme, that's it. Right? So where does that come from? It comes from that historical landscape that was cultivated to cultivate tea within it. 
so to find that landscape out and to actually ascertain ke ha waqai wo cheeze hui thi because there is a lot of secondary literature available on the history of tea there's just not enough literature available on perhaps the discourse that surrounds tea of the ideas that that were used to propagate tea so i went to the sindh archives i saw i i tried to track down advertisements uh, from from dawn newspaper from all the way from 1950s to 1960s and 1970s uh, in hopes because advertisements communicate a lot of image and are uh, and, and a lot of meaning about tea especially tea advertisements and also other advertisements that are referring to tea as a symbol uh, i looked up uh, the sweet ghar ki collection uh, priya paul collection and i and and, and god bless his soul dr lukin dot was able to give me the indian tea bulletins now what are the indian tea bulletins they were basically like this piece of document that were being produced by an entire committee indian tea expansion marketing board that was like relentlessly wanting indians to consume tea because we never consumed tea right so all the way from 1930s to 1939 the white people wanted us to get more white and get more civilized and thus they wanted to sell tea right but that was not their only logic their the logic was also that the tea market had saturated in europe and so now that the tea that they were growing in india could not be sold abroad so let's what do you do ghar mein kachra pad rahe the isko denge bravo bravo karenge to unhone yahi kiya right they started selling they started selling tea to us and that's where that connection of um, cigarettes and tea comes in as well tea navigated itself through the entire subcontinent by the railway network free sampling as we call uh, people uh, when i call when i when i talk to my grandmother and 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 i remember my conversations with my grandfather it was sold at railway stations it was free samples of tea bags and they were they were given to you but you were also sold free cigarettes and that's how that cigarette tea association comes into play right chai aur sutta is tarike se saath ikatthe ho jate hain apni kahani mein to imagine like cigarettes ka propaganda combined with chai ka propaganda. it's the ultimate like this is the i don't know holy trinity of addictions if they could be the british the chai and the tobacco um so i did a lot of research not only secondly i went to the archives i got the bulletins and here's what everything said um these are the advertisements that were being used right so what i want you to focus on is this the tea cup a symbol of national efficiency uh they keep on increasing the blender as an artist agar chai har koi itni peeta tha to itne bulletin banane ki kya zarurat hai itna zor se bechne ki kya zarurat hai but unhone kiya no baras no baras no saal unhone guzare chai bechne ke liye nahi bech paye then genuinely they weren't able to sell it but they were able to sell ideas the idea of civility chai piyo ke civil ho jao chai piyo ke ताकतवर हो जाओगे इफिशियंट हो जाओगे देर इज एक्चुअली देर इज नो रिसर्च टू सजेस्ट दैट टी इंक्रीजेस योर मूड और गिव्स यू एनर्जी ऑल माय लाइफ आई वाज आई हैव हर्ड दिस लाई सुबह को उठो चाय पियो यह दम से यूं अटेंशन आ जाएगा एक्चुअली नो इट्स द शुगर इन इट इट इजंट इट इजंट द कैफीन इन टी राइट सो देयर इज नो साइंस टू प्रूव दैट इट एनर्जाइजेस यू बट द ब्रिटिश ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज़ दे वांटेड टू सेल कमोडिटीज सेड नो 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 इट एनर्जाइजेस यू and of course what else goes with energy capitalism and production and 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 that was the british enterprise right you must understand this this is what the british enterprise was it was to soak up well and and generate as much wealth as possible as they possibly could regardless of who the agent is so they sold us the idea of civility progress and hospitality ki if you are hospitable if you are civil you are powerful right because the other one becomes a barbarian um so as dr lutkin dow suggests he is he is quoting that lipton tea is a mess right in the middle celebrated tea as a natural product of a colonized and tamed jungle raised in geometrically arid and manicured gardens and picked by dark skinned subaltern women who offered it a gleaming white table uh, to equally white consumers right so this idea of race hierarchy civility hospitality these are all part of the legacy of tea not only as a commodity but as a symbol and then the next thing i found out you know how we are all angry about partition i am way more angry about it because for the lack of national identity and for the lack of being able to define the caricature of a normal pakistani 
What does any state or government do? Jump to the most convenient thing they can. The British drink tea, so we can drink tea. What makes a Pakistani Pakistani? Tea. And that's how they started, you know, advertising it. Now think about it. You're, 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 it's 1947. You have all these different communities and cultures and whatnot. And, and you all want to convince them they're the same, with the same idea, with the same story and all of that stuff. So what do you do? You create like symbols of unity. And that's what the became. Um, so yeah, if the next time somebody tells you be like Pakistani or nahi ho, then in China they will be like, yeah, no, that's not true. 150 years ago, nobody did. So circling back, what was the idea? The idea started from why did Abhinandan, why did the T's fantastic phrase become so popular? Why, why did all of that, you know, why, why are there these interesting case studies with the it's because the British, of course, out and about with their schizophrenic sort of ideologies, uh, trying to grab as much wealth as they can from land here. And then the institutions we inherited. So, jo zaban, jo language, jo vocabulary British is that was inherited by us from institutions. What are the most powerful institutions Pakistan had initially? The government of Pakistan and the Pakistani bureaucracy and the Pakistani military. All three institutions were predecessors to the British monarchy or whatever British system they had. So they not only, you see, they did not just inherit language, they also inherited moods, emotions, the way of doing things. Right? The way it used to be in many in many court cultures, it was now replaced by something that was a spirit and a tea. That was the British. Right? And then the second thing was the indigenous. Well, because tea became really cheap, and now you had tea proliferating in the market because you had so much tea growing in India but nobody consuming it. The indigenous were like, okay, let's just take it up and buy into this idea and agenda. Maybe energize a And 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 that's the idea I was sold to as well. You know, it makes you aware. But that's not actually true. And then the last thing was the cultural impact in language. I'll just end my I'll just end this with, with reciting this small little poetry, uh, which I think is really funny, because how is it that, uh, how is it that T becomes a symbol to say this, right? It says, it goes, Bohat arsa hua ek din, bataya tha mujhe usne, banana kuch nahi aata, agar mein kuch banati hoon, to bas chai banati hoon. Piyo ke na? Aur mein is baat par muskarata hi raha tha, कि बनाना कुछ नहीं आता बनाती हो तो बस चाय मुझे चाय से उलझन है नहीं पीता नहीं पीता और अब इस बात को गुजरे जमाने हो गए कितने नहीं मालूम मुझको वो कैसी है कहां कहां पे है मगर अब चाय पीता हूं बड़ी कसरत से पीता हूं बड़ी कसरत से नहीं एंड एंड and, 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 and this was me just trying to question that point. Um, thank you so very much. Uh, Mr. Jayman is welcome here on gallery and in the bulletin, the rest I generated with AI. Uh, thank you so very much.